Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 66 in the Intermediate Algebra series. In this tutorial, I'm going to do an introductory example to the point-slope formula of a line. So when we're using the point-slope formula, we're trying to find the equation of a line, and we're given the slope of that line, we're also given a single point on the line as well. So for our example, we're trying to figure out what is the equation of a line that has the slope of 3 over 2, and it has the point 2, 1 on the line as well. So this right here is the point slope formula, and we simply take the slope, and we can plug it in where our slope m is here, so m in our case is 3 over 2, and then y1 and x1 you can think of as the x and y coordinates of our point. So if we wanted to think about this a little bit more clearly, we could simply just refer to this as point 1. So if this was point 1, then the 2 right here would be our x1, and the 1 right here would be our y1. So now to find the equation of the line that has a slope of 3 over 2 and also has the point 2, 1 on that line, then we simply just plug this information into the point slope formula and then we can go ahead and solve it so that we can get this line in slope intercept form. So to start solving for this line, I'm simply just going to copy the formula above here. y minus and y1 here, in the y1 position of our point, we have the number 1. So I'll place the value 1 right here in the y1 position, and that's equal to our slope m, which happens to be 3 over 2. So now remember, a slope is the change in the y direction compared to the change in the x direction of our line. That means for every positive 3 units we go in the y direction, we also need to go positive 2 units in the x direction. So let's just go ahead and plug our slope into the m variable here. So for our slope, we simply have 3 over 2. And then our slope gets multiplied by the quantity x minus x1. So for x1, we have our x component of the point that we were given. So the x component of the point we were given has the value 2. So we're simply going to plug in the value 2 right here. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to distribute this three halves into the parentheses here. So first we're going to multiply the three halves by the x. And so on the right hand side here we will have three over two times x which is simply three over two x. And then we're going to distribute the three over two into the second term here. So for the second term we have three over two multiplied by a negative two. So that will give us negative three over 2 times 2, and 2 can be written as 2 over 1. So now we have a 2 on the top and a 2 on the bottom. So this part right here becomes negative 3 over 1, or simply negative 3. So we can rewrite the right hand side here as 3 over 2 x minus 3. And the right hand side is still y minus 1. So we'll just go ahead and write y minus 1 here and I'll just carry it down here as well. So the next step is we want to get y by itself on the left hand side. And then once we do that, our line will be in slope intercept form, which will make it easy for us to graph. So to get rid of this one on the left hand side here, we're simply just going to add one to both sides. So if we add one to the left hand side, this becomes y minus one plus one. And whatever we do on the left hand side, we also have to do on the right hand side. So the right hand side becomes 3 halves x minus 3, and then we have to add that 1 as well. The left hand side, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so this becomes y plus 0, or simply y on the left hand side, is equal to 3 halves x minus 3 plus 1. So minus 3 plus 1 is going to give us a minus 2. So this becomes 3 halves x minus 2. So now what we've done is we've created an equation of a line in slope intercept form now that has the slope of 3 over 2 and also contains the point 2, 1. So we started with point slope formula and we ended up with slope intercept. And so just as a reminder, the slope intercept form looks like this. We have y is equal to 
the slope times x plus b, and b is simply the location that our line crosses the y-axis. So in our case, our b is negative 2, and our slope is 3 over 2. And so this right here, once again, this is a line in slope-intercept form. So I'll go ahead and write that down. So this is slope-intercept form of a line, which makes it very easy for us to graph this line now. So we started with a point on the line, the slope of a line, we plugged that information into the point slope formula, which is right here. And then we did a little bit of algebra and we ended up with a line in slope intercept form. So to graph this, we simply go ahead and mark the location that it intersects the y axis, which is B or negative two. So starting at the origin on the y axis, we simply go down one, two units in the negative y direction. So that's a point on our line. And we also know that this is a point on our line as well, the point two, one. So we can go ahead and start at the origin, go over one, two units in the x direction, and then up one unit in the y direction. So that would bring us right here. And then just to verify the slope, the change between this point to this point should match our slope right here. So we need to go three units in the positive y direction. For every two units, we go in the positive x direction. So let's check that. We go one, two, three units in the positive y direction. Then we go over one, two units in the positive x direction. And sure enough, we land back on our line. So now we can go ahead and simply draw this line by connecting those points. So now we've drawn the line y is equal to three over two x minus two. So I'll just go ahead and write that over here. y is equal to three over two x minus 2 and we have the point 2 1 on that line and our line has the slope 3 over 2. So that's how you use the point slope formula to find the equation of a line when you're given a point on that line and the slope of the line. And this will actually work with any point on the line. It doesn't have to be a specific point. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.